Hi boys and girls. So today in our writing, we are going to talk about how good writers say, point, and make lines before they write, okay? This helps us to really figure out what we wanna say and kind of organize our thoughts before we get to writing, okay? So let me think what I wanna write about, okay. So you're going to learn a lot about my kids during these lessons. We have five kids and my second to youngest, she's nine, her name is Kendall and she is tiny and she's got curly red hair and she's a little wild. So this weekend, the girls decided they wanted makeup and they're only nine and ten. And so we really talked about it a lot and I said, okay, listen, you can get one light color of eyeshadow and you can wear it on the weekends when we go to church or if we go to lunch or something like that. But you're not allowed to wear it to dance and you're not allowed to wear it to school. And they're like, okay. So I was working and Mr. Andy, my husband, their dad was running errands. So he ended up taking them. So they went to Target and they picked out, instead of picking like one color, they picked out what's called a palette. So a lot of times you'll see that with art um, paints as well. So it starts with really light colors, and then towards the end it gets to brown and purple and black. So they came home with this eyeshadow, and I said to Addison and Kendall, I said, listen, you are only allowed to use one and two, the first two eyeshadows. You are not allowed to use the dark colors because you're not old enough for it. So of course they both said, okay, and Addison usually says, okay, and she does it. Kendall sometimes a little wild, so if she's got something that she knows she wants to do, she sometimes does it. So like I said, I was working up in my office where we are right now, and I went downstairs to get a water out of the refrigerator. And when I went outside, they play in the garage a lot of times. I don't really know why. But um, I walked in, and I Kendall turned around, and I went, oh my. And she had purple eyeshadow all around her eyes. And then I said, Kendall... Did you get into the dark colors your eyeshadow? And she said, no. So I had to take the eyeshadow away. I said, you're not kind of ready for it, but I want to write about it because it was kind of funny, even though she was, you know, not making good choices. Um, and she had her consequence because she doesn't have eyeshadow anymore. So um, what we're going to talk about today is how good writers say, point, and make lines to organize their thoughts before they write, right? So we're gonna start with, I'm gonna sing it for you. What do we say first? Name on your paper, first thing. All right, so let's put my name, Miss Karen. And do I put my words in my box, in this box? No, that's right. I put my illustration, my quick sketch. Do I color it and take tons of time to do my writing, my, my quick sketch? No, no, this is where I'm doing a quick sketch so I don't forget what I wanna write about, okay? So, um, here's the refrigerator and I came out to get a bottle of water. Just gonna make those squares. And here I am. And here's Kendall. That curly, 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 curly hair. And if you remember, she had purple eyeshadow all around her eyes. And remember, I said, oh my. So I kind of had that, what was that word we use when we're kind of like um, shocked or someone kind of scares us? The word surprised, yeah. So I'm gonna put my circle, I kind of have that face a lot um, around this house. I'm gonna put my circle because I'm surprised. Now, what we're talking about today is that good writers say, point, and make lines to represent their words, to organize their thoughts, right? So I'm gonna say, Kendall got new eyeshadow. And I'm gonna put a period. She put purple all around her eyes. She looked like a raccoon. Oh my gosh, that's three sentences. I don't know if I'm gonna to get to all three of those sentences today, but what I do for my friends when I write with them is I try to remember one word out of each of those three sentences. So if they forget what they're gonna write about, or if they gotta go back to it the next day, which is what good writers do, they can. So I said, Kendall got new eyeshadow. So I'm just 
I'm gonna make a little box over here that's like my organizing box. And I'm just gonna put eye shadow. And then my second sentence, I said, she put purple eyeshadow all around her eyes. So I'm gonna put the word purple, because that will remind me. And then I was going to write about how um, Kendall got purple eyeshadow. She put purple eyeshadow all around her eyes. I think I'm just, I don't remember what I was going to write about. So that's okay. If you don't remember what you're going to write about, you can just make it up again. I'm going to say, I said, oh my, right? So I'm going to put, oh my. Okay. So I'm ready for my writing. And today I'm going to say it, I'm going to point it, and I'm going to put my lines. So Kendall got purple eyeshadow. Okay. Kendall got purple eye shadow. And now I'm going to make my lines. Kendall got purple eye. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have enough room on this line. What do I do when I have to go to the next one? I stop, turn around, come back down, and start again. Kendall got purple eye shadow. And what do I put at the end of a sentence? My period. Now, when I'm working with my friends on writing, I do all of this for them. So I'm going to say it for them. I'm going to have them say it back to me. I'm going to say it on my fingers, and I'm going to make the lines before we get to writing. So educators, moms and dads, if you're going to be doing this with your child, do all of this with them and for them, and then set them up for success in being able to write their letters. Now, the last lesson we did, boys and girls, we talked about how good writers can use circles to represent their words. In our next lesson, we're going to talk about how good writers can get, get their mouth ready for the beginning sound of their words. So because I haven't really modeled that for you yet, I'm going to make circles. But if you think you're brave enough to try to make le letters, even if they're not the right letters or they're you know big or sloppy or mixed around, that's okay. Be brave and try to make your letters. I'm going to be brave in my next lesson, and I'm going to write, make my letters. But for this lesson, I'm going to make my circles. So I said, Kendall got purple eye shadow. Kendall got purple eye shadow. Oh, man, I forgot what I was going to write about after that. <gasps> That's right. I have my box. Um, oh, I said new eye shadow. So now I've mixed things around. Kendall got new eye shadow. It was purple, okay? It was purple. It was purple. It was purple. What I put at the end of my sentence? I put a period. And now I'm going to make my circles. It was purple. Now, we've talked about this before, if I can get my other marker. I um, can't find it, so I'm just gonna do black. Um, because I'm a teacher, I know how to write the words, so I wanna write the words for you, just in case you wanna swipe them and use those words in your writing, okay? So, Kendall. Got, g, ah, new, n, n, new, I shadow and shadow actually starts with the sh sound, so it's an sh. So I'm going to underline it. Shadow. Period. It was purple. Was is kind of a hard word. So I think in my next lesson, when I talk about how I can swipe words, I might use that word was and put that on our wall. It was. Hmm. I don't remember how to write the word purple, but I do remember that there was somewhere on my paper that I wrote the word purple that I could maybe swipe. Where do you think that was? Oh, I see the word purple. P-U-R-P-L-E. P-U-R-P-L-E. I'm going to swipe it. Purple. Period. All right, so now it's your turn. When you close your eyes, when you think about what you want to write about, I want you to grab your thought, and then educators work with your child to say the sentence they want to say, to um, point out the sentence they want to say, and then to make the lines to represent their writing. Have a great time writing, and we will see you next time. Take care.